Drive, brought to you by Golf Pride. A very good morning and welcome into Morning Drive on a Monday. I'm likely with you alongside Damon Hatt, Paige McKenzie and Robert Darren. Well, guys, there is no overlooking the fact that, of course, today would have marked the beginning of Masters Week. But as we know, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the event has been hopefully postponed for later in the year. But to fill the void, Golf Channel will be bringing you back-to-back -back coverage of some awesome Masters content that will look back at some of the most iconic moments at Augusta National, including Tiger Woods' triumphant victory just last year. And tonight at 8 p.m., Golf Films will bring you a special Celebrating the Masters, which will focus partly on world number one, Rory McIlroy and his pursuit of their career at Grand Slam. Guys, we know Rory McIlroy is a four-time major champion, but has never put on that green jacket. Damon Hack, when the Masters comes around this year, it will be Rory's sixth attempt of the career Grand Slam. Every year, it just seems to get harder and harder. But what have you learned about Rory in his previous showings at the Masters? You know, Anna, I think Rory's showing a lot of maturity as he chases uh, the Holy Grail, trying to become the sixth person ever to complete the modern career Grand Slam. He's come a long way, I think, from 2011 when he had that four-shot lead going into Sunday, shot 80, including that triple bogey on the 10th hole where he was lost in the cabins to the left of the fairway. Rory McIlroy, I believe, knows who he is, knows that he won't necessarily be defined by winning the Masters, but I just love where he is mentally and emotionally. Obviously, his game uh, is second to none, but it's between the ears, the comfort, the, the fact that he meditates, that he's a reader, a deep thinker. I just think he's very comfortable with who he is. He knows that if his game is right, that at some point in his career, a player as talented as he is will knock this door down and complete the career Grand Slam. And Rory is someone who has a huge appreciation for the history of the game, and he knows exactly where this would put him in the history of golf. So, guys, it's time for one of our favorite moments here on Morning Drive for you be the judge. So, I want to give you to give me your campaign and your number of confidence that Rory will win the Masters at some point in his career. Paige McKenzie, starting with you. I am quite confident that Rory McIlroy will get it done. Uh, to me, his career is defined by spectacular highs and spectacular lows. Uh, 2011 is a perfect example of that at the Masters. You said he was lost uh, in the cabins on the 10th. Well, he's been lost in his career before. He's actually vis verbally said that, I am lost, uh, referring to after he changed equipment and was struggling with his game. Uh, but then, of course, spectacular highs as well. I think it's his ability to learn from each and every one of his failures that is going to, to give him the, the tools necessary to ultimately get it done at Augusta. Wow, that is, uh, I thought with my number of five, I thought I was being bold, but Paige was nine. That's crazy. I mean, a five is great. That's a coin toss away from winning the career Grand Slam. We're talking Sarah's and Hogan player, Nicholas Woods. That's all. Those are the only people that have ever done that. To throw Rory's name in there, would be an unbelievable feat, but that's a very short crew. There's a lot of players that haven't accomplished that. It, I, I really, truly believe that Rory has the tools, and I, I feel like in my heart he's going to do it. Uh, after what he did last year, I thought his season was fantastic, and, and the way he played, the way he won, he won the players, he won the FedEx Cup, that's great and everything. But now we're talking about career defining. One Masters win for him, career Grand Slam, is career defining, it's historic. It would be awesome. It's also a lot of pressure and one one big win away. Will he look at it as pressure, guys? Will he look at it as an opportunity? I'm splitting the difference between you two. I'm going with a seven for Roy McIlroy. It might have been maybe an eight or a nine a few years ago. Uh, he has five top ten finishes there in his last six starts. Uh, I love his comfort level with who he is as a player and a person. And you would think his game, the driver, how high he hits his irons would be a perfect fit for Augusta. Obviously, the putter has to be hot for him that week, or at least warm for him, let's just say, that week for him to get it done. But I think seven is still a very solid number for Rory. You mentioned the players who have done it. I believe he's of that ilk. We will find out, Robert, in due time if he is of that ilk. Yes, we will. And Paige, a lot of...
confidence. Robert's slightly wavering there with a five, but you understand, uh, well, just as much as we all do, but just tell us the significance of being one, well, becoming the sixth player in the history of the game to get that career grand slam, put it on the resume. It's one of the most elite achievements that you can ever see across the game of golf. Yeah, absolutely. When you think of the, the, Biggest names in the sport, only that small handful have that career grand slam. Um, I know being around Arnold Palmer for many, many years, he did not win the PGA Championship. It hurt him. It bothered him till the last day. I mean, if you if you even asked him, hey, uh, you know, what happened in some of the PGAs, he, he kind of sat back and, and got a little irritated and talked about how he kind of messed this one up. But but you look at like Trevino never having won Augusta, Sneed never having won the U.S. Open, Byron Nelson, Ray Floyd no open. Uh, those are great, great names, great, great golfers. And to separate yourself from even that crew would be something otherworldly uh, for Rory. Again, if he wins the Masters, he is the all-time greatest European golfer. The all-time greatest European golfer. I think we know that, and I think Rory knows that just as well as well. So you can catch more on Rory's pursuit of the Career Grand Slam. Uh, that's today, 8 p.m. on Golf Channel. And be sure to catch all the other great master specials throughout the day. And we'll look back on the highlights from three of Arnold Palmer's Masters victories. And at 5.15 p.m. Eastern Time, you can improve your own game with the best lessons ever from a few Masters champions. So that should give you your fix for Masters Week. But stay with us here on Morning Drive. You can follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook for all the latest news. Check out our YouTube at Golf Channel and follow all of everything this evening at Golf Central.